The entire condo complex felt the effect. Residents in Port Ritchie tell our Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway that they paid good money to update the laundry room, but it didn't work out. It was a problem, and, and Jackie specializes in problems, don't you? I do. Well, you know, many times we are taking action for one family or one consumer at a time, but in this case, it was an entire community. These people want what everyone wants, to get what they paid for. The Gulf Harbors Condominium Association decided to purchase more than 50 front-end loaders with savings in mind. We, we hope to, to be able to save money because they were high efficient on water, electricity. After spending more than $55,000 for the new washers, a strange thing happened. My husband noticed that. I don't, you know, he went to one and the floor was wet. We realized there was trouble when uh, we got calls that the washers, that there was water running out from underneath the wash machines. And all of that leaking water may have led to rust that's corroding many of the front panels on these washing machines. And that's another major concern. So I would think, yeah, it's a problem. Like, why are they rusting, especially when those aren't that old? Property manager Susan Bedford contacted the retailer and Sears sent a service team. Then the manufacturer, Electrolux, emailed their opinion as to why more than 20 of the units were leaking. Their determination after that was that it was the, the suds from the soap. People were using the wrong soap. The condo association followed the manufacturer's recommendation. They ran several empty cycles, but the problem persisted. I called Sears and asked that they take another look at the front end loaders. They had decided that they were going to come out and they were going to, to patch the holes. Holes like this one in what's known as the orifice inside the washer contributed to the leaking, according to Susan. In an email, Sears told me, we have been working with the customer and should have a resolution shortly. The company also offered to replace the rusted panels and stands, even though the machines are now out of warranty. We'll no longer be an expense of the association. That's very important to us. Now, I'm told that the work is ongoing and it should be complete within the next couple of weeks. Now, if you're having a consumer problem and you'd like us to get involved, all you have to do is pick up the phone. Our number here is 866-428-NEWS or just shoot me an email, Jackie at abcactionnews.com. Brendan. Thank you, Jackie.